We are stationed at Wabwich, Ohio, and welcome back to the Buckeye State Well. Today is August 14th, 2023. I will be in Wabwich, Ohio to be something that will be on duty for like at least 30 something minutes. But since the camera is panned right there, I will be panning the camera so you'll see what that will be on duty on M201. If you can see, there it goes, M209 building their train here at Wallbridge, and the locomotives that we are standing right near, we are taking a look at CSX 1976, the Conrail Quality Heritage Locomotive. I hate how the fade in is like that, it's like that on 1776. But it's CSX that's making all of these heritage. They made five so far. If you can tell. Um, yeah. Anyhow, I would be heard by today on August 14th. It will be on duty on 201 for Baldwich to Chicago, Illinois. It's just kind of boring because, well, really, nothing's really happening. It's shut down. Well, that'll change in five minutes. After five minutes, the engine has started up and they're getting ready to go to do some switching and make their train and then be sent out in 201, M201 actually. The Conwell. However, Look at that the, it's elephant style with another Gilo, so it will be leading. There's me getting some more shots. But in a few minutes, actually one minute, I will be getting the drone up in the air, and I will be getting some good shots with the drone.
how awesome is that that I got the drone up in the air <laughs> I had this drone for quite a while just haven't posted it on YouTube yet but this is like basically the first video of all the times I have used it into this video because well I haven't really started editing of all those videos that I had with the drone but this one is actually the first one I actually have started that's because I wanted to get this one out as soon as possible this one is a quite new one of the CFX Heritage book loaders I have well, seen. We're still sitting here. 1976. It looks like a Conrail. It's actually the newest one since three this weeks ago. They were doing oh, their family going. lines of event in Cleveland until I would guess, August 13th. They were being set out the Conwell, on X5. That's my guess. That would come from Cleveland to Detroit. But I guess it really never went to Detroit. It just went to Walbridge instead. Well, after the Conwell and the other people moved, one minute later, we have I-151 heading south towards the North Baltimore. But however, we would have two CSX GEs and then one UPA and one normal GE UP. So that was a four engine on I-151. He is slowing down. He was flying at first, but I cut it off a little bit because it was a little long. He was quite long for an animal. However, he is on a far track. He will be stopping at the south end of Walwick Yard. Okay, and let me go. 
Here comes the engines again, the Conwell will we'll be going to move to south end of Walwich Yard to do switching and building their own train here at Walbridge, Ohio. It will be cool to see them again for the last time until they be departing Walbridge. After catching the Conrail north end of Walwich Yard, we would see M215 departing the yard bound for Warren, Michigan, but I did not capture him. We would see Spirit of Louisville sitting in the yard as well, just north end of the yard, but this one is an extra 132. However, he is an extra, but I don't know if he's terminating here or not. He may be going all the way to Detroit. However, when I was hearing about an extra 567, he was all he was going to go to Detroit, but however he went to Walwich. But he was a manifest, this one's also a manifest with no animal.
Here's the drone of a mid DPU on the X132. He's going quite slow because he is going into the yard. But the DPU is a Kansas City Southern Gibo as a mid DPU, which is kind of cool. Cause don't see Case Kansas City Southern anymore. Well, I do, but they're not. I don't see them. So that tells me that it's not into CP Casey yet. It's still Kansas City Southern so for now. But once they do all the repainting, whatever, they're gonna put them into CP Casey. One fifty one clear South End of Broadbridge is flying towards the Baltimore. We'll be going towards Baltimore first, taking a Y to go west of Baltimore. And he did not have those two UPs that were we saw earlier I I would think one. Could have dropped him south of Baldwidge. X-131 is probably going to pick him up south of Baldwidge or it's going to be I-131 south the end of Baldwin. Not really sure. That one kind of confused because don't really know what they're going to do with the other EP engines.
All right, here comes BFX T M201. We'll be departing Walbridge, Ohio, towards Chicago, Illinois, with the Conrail Heritage Unit 1976. We'll be leading 201. And I barely got the drone on time. Notice that I had the, the part for the camera to not be scratched or whatever at that end. And then I had to land it and then took it off. And now this is what I got with the drone. But the kind of quality hair is what I wrote. M201 will be stopping here shortly because I'm guessing it would be stopping for a crew change just south of me. He would be stopping at a crossing just south of me just to get a crew change. Well, they could have done it at the yard, but oh well. At least I'm getting pictures and videos of it now. So, if he did stop like a long time. I would at least have photos and pictures and videos. But he did not stop here for long.
Well, <laughs> M201 will be picking up the speed again. After getting a clue change, he will be heading up to speed or getting back on a move. However, my friend is just south of me, little boy. So, I had to text him when it was moving. He did move a sec, but I didn't get out of recording. But, he's finally moving again. But I think this time he's actually moving. Moving this time, officially. Well, this was kind of a good day, not gonna lie, but the Conwell Heritage Unit, this will be the third Heritage Unit that I would catch, but unfortunately, this video will be signing off here in Walbridge, Ohio. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will be seeing you in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells. Till next time, I'll be catching more Heritage Units from CSX.